I'll show you how to generate an automatic table of contents and that assumes that you've already put level headings into your document. Now I put these in through the outline function and I could have done that several ways but when I go back to view outline you'll see that I have all of my headings put in as an outline which lets me look at my work very quickly and see the structure but now I'm going to close it because those outline features do not show up to the reader in the same kind of way so to put in an automatic table of contents the first thing you want to do is insert your cursor right at the very top of the document because the table will be generated exactly where you put the cursor I'm even pushing enter to move down one and I'm moving the cursor up here and I'm going to just go to the normal mode of uh, text although that doesn't really matter but as long as I'm in the right place I can now go over to references and here's my table of contents feature I'm going to click it now there are certain ones built in automatically and the default will show you three levels of heading I'm going to show you a couple extra things you can do I like the custom table of contents and the reason is I might want to insert more headings so I can show how many levels that I want and as I click that button this got updated um, I also like different types of formats and when you choose one you get a facsimile up here uh, I think the formal is my favorite and you can modify this but to keep it simple I would say choose one that makes sense to you and then when you're ready you click OK and automatically the table of contents, contents gets generated based on the one that you used the nice thing about this is if I go in and change something down here I take it from thoughts and considerations to um, uh, doing your best work and I click that when I come up here it's still the older version but when I click into this area and I'm right clicking now I have the option to update the field I'm going to choose to update the entire table I click OK and here the table automatically updated the heading what that does mean though that you should never make your changes here in the automatically generated table if you want to make changes to the table of contents uh, make the changes in the document itself and then go up and generate a new table of contents and one way to do that like I showed you a minute ago is to go up to the table itself right click in it choose update field update the entire table and you'll find that I just brought that part in here so never change the table change the headings and then regenerate the table and you'll always have a nice automatically accurate table of contents that reflects any changes you've made in your tables within in your headings within the document itself